Hello and welcome to part 5 of my training series on how to sell your products on Clickbank, Warrior Plus and JVZoo. Today we will set up our sales page and by learning how to set up an HTML sales page is going to help you very much in the future when you need to learn how to set up ad tracking or conversion pixels and split testing things is very useful to know a little bit about HTML and I also have another alternative way to set up a sales page and that's going in part 7 building a sales page with WordPress and part 6 I'm going to show you how to do the uploading your site files okay so this program right here is called composer and I've mentioned that in the recommended tools it's free uh, download it and this is it right here so it works similar to like a word document and essentially I'm going to use this to create the HTML sales pages and it's not going to be from scratch because doing that from scratch is going to take way too long and very I think difficult to do so what I recommend is to get yourself some POR products with sales pages already so like this right here this example this is a POR product from IDPOR. It's an HTML sales page. So what I'm going to do is use Composer and edit the sales page. And it comes with a thank you page as well. So everything's already done for you. But you can use this sales page template style and just replace the banner, the images, and the text with your own text or copy and paste from another POR product and if you don't want to use uh, ID POR or for whatever reason you can also search for free HTML sales page templates at Google it will give you quite a few choices so here are just some examples I'm not sure if these are 100% free or not but you can see and here are some free ones as well so you get a lot of older designs if they're uh, free HTML I like the ones from IDPOR there's like thousands of sales pages thousands of products they have on here if you join the, the premium membership you will have thousands of access to sales pages just like these ones right here you can easily edit so this is what you get when you download for example from uh, IDPOR you're gonna get a bunch of files like this already nicely laid out for you so here you can see we have sales pages already done and if you for example click on the index HTML it's going to load up in your browser just like this let's get back to a composer all you have to do click on open navigate to your sales page template that you want to use so just open it like that and there you have it this is the sales page for affiliate rocket as you can see very similar to what you see here and that's what composer does is an HTML editor uh, graphically you can use it almost like Word documents you can click and then add your text change out the text and you can do things like highlight that delete and uh, let's make sure to center this so use it almost like word document nothing difficult see and then make sure you change out the text again you can type whatever you want change whatever you want just like that and here's the most important thing is you need to change your all the images if you plan to rebrand or reuse this sales page okay for the images make sure you add all of your images your rebranded images or new product covers whatever you want make sure you paste it or copy and paste it into your sales page folder so right here sales page folder this is my index HTML that's my, my sales page and then these are my images so let's actually click on view large icon so you can see what I mean so these are my new images 
that I'm going to use and replace the affiliate rocket uh, images here. So let's pretend that I'm replacing uh, or rebranding this into a different product as an example. So all you have to do, make sure you click on the image that you want to replace and then click on this right here, insert new image and then click on this open folder, navigate to your sales page folder and let's just open that and let's click on OK and you might get this alert right here it says you need to supply an alternate text just in case some browsers don't display images so just enter in something like your product name whatever it is click OK and now your product is replaced your image is replaced and then make sure you can save go to file save or control S works just like Word documents and then navigate to your sales page and if you open up your index you will see the edited uh, version with your own text you can see I made some changes and as some example here and then you can see my replace image so again you would go through the sales page make sure you edit things you don't want or edit copy and paste other sales page text over and it's nice that uh, I like templates I like to use templates because it's like it's already laid out for you the sales page so it's nicely laid out and then just add in your content here your book content why do you need this course so you can replace this to like why do you need this uh, video course this service and then bonus if you already have bonuses that you want to include or uh, get some from ID POR or whatever POR resources you want to use and then just replace the images and uh, the formatting for a composer sometimes it's not exactly uh, what it seems it's just the way it's formatted inside of the program as you can see it looks different this is vertical and then this is shown horizontal it's just how it is and then but once you save it and load it up in your browser it will look nice and, and here's another example right here the bonus so you can see the images it's not aligned as you see here on the browser let's try to uh, replace this image okay just like before click on the image and then click on the insert image button up here navigate to your new image click open and then make sure you enter in an alternative text and then click OK and in this particular situation you probably want to resize this to make it a little bit smaller and then save and once you load it up there it is your new image okay so I went ahead and replaced all the images that I found and now let's add in another cover down here so you can just click here and then hit enter to make a new some space and then I'm gonna align this in the center so let's insert an image right here navigate and let's do this one ebook medium size and book there it is so let's save and open up your sales page again in your browser or you can simply uh, go to your browser and hit the refresh button it's the same thing alrighty so here is our new sales page so again this is just an example so there's going to be some gibberish text here and there just an example for you guys to see about rebranding a sales page so you see my images my new cover my new bonus and my cover again so these buns I'm going to show you how to add those later but for now just get 
uh, the sales page, the sales text, your rebranded images, add them into your sales page. Okay, let's go back to the composer editor. So these links down here, let's highlight the support and then click right click, link properties. Here is your email address. You can just enter it, your email. That way when people click on this link, it'll go to your email. And these are your other links. Right click, link properties. And to link to a different page, all you have to do is where you see the link location here. Click on the open folder. And with the, my POR sales page, that it came with all these other uh, things like disclaimer, terms of service. So you can just click on that, open. And when people click on this link, it'll go to the disclaimer. And then you can actually just double click on the links it'll pop up this window terms and then just make sure you select it like that click OK okay and now to change the page title so you can see here it still has the original product name affiliate rocket so let's go back to composer click on format up here go to page titles and properties and here you can enter in new title, your author name, and a description of your sales page. Alright, so here is my new title, Affiliate Marketing for Influencer, author name, uh, description, just a short description. This will show up in the search engine. So that's the sales page. Make sure you edit your own. And this video is getting kind of long, so I'm not going to do all the other things today. For this uh, part, I'm going to split part five into the upsell. I'm going to do the upsell and downsell in a different video and the thank you page. And then in part six, we're going to upload the site files. So yeah, this is it for uh, today. So go ahead and set up, take action and set up your sales page. Just the main front end. So this is called the front end sales page where you sell your front end product or your main product. And then upsell will be additional products that you want to upsell to your customer after they buy the main product. And again, don't worry about the buttons, the buy buttons. So these ones right here, click here to gain access. We're going to do those later once we have our product listing set up at Warrior Plus, uh, ClickBank, or JVZoo. So we'll do those later for now leave those alone so yeah go ahead and set up your front end sales page and we'll do the next part in the next tutorial video okay thanks so much for viewing let me know if you guys have any questions and be sure to subscribe to health webmaster and until next time happy marketing